Another thing, before I actually got involved with Waveborn, about four years ago, I, I got an email about a company called stunnerofthemonth.com. I don't know if any of you guys ever heard of this. It's literally the coolest thing ever. So for $9 a month, uh, they mail you a random pair of stunner shades to your house, and any color, shape, style, design becomes a little business card with a cool name and a little description about how awesome they are and what you can do like James Bond when you wear these sunglasses. It's phenomenal. Uh, that's kind of what ignited my passion for sunglasses, and I was like, nine bucks a month, it's like Christmas, the 15th of every month, I get this new present. Um, if you notice, that pitch I just gave, I've been giving that pitch for four years. Like, when I would meet buddies at Frisbee tournaments, I would say, hey, you love crazy sunglasses, check out this website. I probably have 20 or 30 friends who signed up just because I was so excited about their product and, this, and the way they provided it, and like, one month I got like a slight bracelet that said, time to stunt, and had a picture of a watch on it. Like, that sort of stuff was pretty cool to me. Um, so through that, I kind of learned what it's like to develop uh, a strong following of people about your business who are passionate and want to do word of mouth marketing, which um, is huge in today's connected society. Everybody comments on Facebook and Twitter about whether or not they like something, or, um, hey, this thing is great, you should totally buy it, I'm going to share this, or their service sucks at Comcast, I hate them, I can't believe my cable's out again. I think everybody knows Comcast sucks. But, um, it's important to understand that instead of spending like two million dollars on a commercial at the Super Bowl, all you need to do is get people to use your product, like your product, and then want to tell their friends about your product. <coughs> like if this is something when they go to a, a happy hour or a party or whatever that people are talking about, and this is like one of the first stories they want to share with their friends and they say, how was your week? Oh, I got this new pair of sunglasses, it's really awesome, let me tell you about it. That's, that's a success. Mm -hmm. You know, that, like, that's how we are building our business and I think it's completely different than the way a lot of older businesses were built before the internet was around and, and that sort of thing. And I think it's important as you guys start developing your business models and how it is that you want to network and bring in new customers or at least potential leads, understanding that having people talk positively about your company when you're not around is huge.